So hey dear aspirants, this is Baswara Chaur, your biology math teacher. Welcome to Vidanto Neat English. Now in this video, we'll be summarizing the entire chapter of your biomolecules with the help of a mind map in few minutes. Starting off with the basic definition. That is, chemicals present in the living organisms are known as biomolecules. That is, proteins, lipids, fats, carbohydrates. All of these are molecules which are found inside the living tissue is called as biomolecules. Now, there needs to be an experimental proof to confirm this. Yes, there is. That is, method to analyze the chemical composition. That is, if you are given with a living tissue, that is, a rat tissue or a plant tissue, all you need to do is be a scientist. That is, take the tissue and completely grind it in a mortar and pestle with the help of a acid. That is, called as your trichloroacetic acid to obtain a slurry. So, when you obtain a slurry, you need to stain it. You need to strain it with the help of a muslin cloth. Imagine if this is your beaker, you take a muslin cloth on top of it and you add your slurry on it. Now, once you add a slurry, some amount of slurry will slide down and this part is called as your filtrate. Now, what we present on the top is called as retentate. It is called as what? Retentate. Now, the same filtrate is also called as your acid soluble fraction. Why? Because whatever chemicals or whatever the molecules which are present in the filtrate are technically soluble in your acid. So, they are also called as what? Acid soluble. Now, again, the above, above one is called as acid insoluble because they are not soluble inside the trichloroacetic acid. Now, whatever we find here in the filtrate are called as micromolecules. Why do you say micromolecules? Because the size is less than 1000 Daltons. Now, what about the retentate? Here they are called as macromolecules because the size is more than 1000 Daltons. Simple examples in your macromolecules are going to be your nucleic acids, your proteins and complex carbohydrates. Now, what about your Filtrate. In filtrate, we find simple carbohydrates, we find amino acids, we find your nucleic acid, nu uh, nucleotides. That's it. Now, students, that is your filtrate and retentate. Based on that, the biomolecules are divided into two types. That is bio-macromolecules, bio-macromolecules, micro and macro. Clear? The next thing which you need to understand is the carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are made up of monosaccharides. Now, what are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are basically hydrates of carbon. Hydrates of carbon. That is your, it could have a separate OH bond next to it. It can also have aldehyde or it can also have ketone next to it. Now, based on the classification, we have your monosaccharides, disaccharides, oligosaccharides, polysaccharides. That is basically a number of sugar units present. If it is monosaccharide, it only has one unit. That is, example, it's triose. Similarly, we have disaccharides such as sucrose and fructose. Let me know in the comment section what is sucrose and fructose made up of also. Then we have polysaccharides. Polysaccharides are again divided into two types. That is your homopolysaccharides and heteropolysaccharides. Homopolysaccharides are made up of only single monomeric unit. Repeated monomeric unit. Single. Example, cellulose, inulin. Yes, cellulose, inulin, glycogen. All these are examples of your homopolysaccharide. Other example is chitin also. Then we have heteropolysaccharides. They have different type of repeating units. Example, NAG and NAM, which is found in your peptidoglycan. Apart from that, agar is also an example for that. Then we have your proteins. Before we go to the proteins, everyone should understand a little bit about amino acids. That is, the basic structure of amino acid, everyone should know that is your carbon, COOH, NH2, and H, and R. Now, this R is variable. Depending upon what this R is a functional group, whatever functional group is present, depending upon the amino acid changes. Example, if H is there, it is glycine. Similarly, you also have serine and alanine in your structural, in your NCRT. Apart from that, we have totally 20 different amino acids, means 20 different types of functional groups. Apart from that, in the amino acids, we should also know the aromatic amino acids, tryptophan, tyrosine, phenylalanine. We should also know acidic amino acids, basic amino acids, and neutral amino acids. With example, very important. That's why they'll ask you an examination. Let me know in the comment section also, which is the example for your basic amino acid. Okay. Then we have proteins. Students, in proteins, only thing which you need to remember is the structure of protein. That is primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure, and quaternary structure. Primary structure is linear. In your secondary structure, we have alpha sheets and beta plated. 
this tertiary structure and quaternary structure is made up of many different chains example is your hemoglobin then we have lipids lipids mainly are divided into two types glycerols and fatty acids glycerols are basically a type of alcohol also called as your trihydroxypropane is one example there then we have fatty acids fatty acids are basically carboxylic acid with a functional group example example is going to be your saturated and unsaturated in saturated we have a single bond lipids and in your unsaturated we have your double bond and triple bond here MUFA and PUFA you need to know what is that then we have your nucleic acids we have dna rna and nucleotide now dna and rna you would have studied deeply in your molecular base of inheritance so same thing can incorporate be here then we have nucleotide is made up of three units that is a nitrogenous base a pentose sugar and a phosphoric group also you should know the difference between nucleotide and nucleoside very important then we have whatever type of sugar present in dna and rna that you need to know then we have metabolites mainly two types of metabolites primary metabolites and secondary metabolites students a table from your ncrt for secondary metabolites is the, the most important table for your metabolites and your examination questions are come from that table example concalvulene there are drugs and different things are there remember that table apart from that the one more table is your protein table the functions of proteins that are glued for remember that then we have enzyme action enzyme action first we learn the enzyme action under enzymes that is enzyme plus substrate enzyme substrate complex enzyme product complex and enzyme and product are separate what does it tell you it tells you simple enzyme is basically doing one function that is it is reducing the activation energy so that enzyme can for compounds can become products react can become product then we have your factors affecting your enzyme activity that is every single enzyme needs an optimum temperature and pre temperature and ph beyond which it doesn't work it's like very lazy that is for example temperature becomes very high all the proteins will denature that is enzyme will denature if temperature becomes very low the enzyme becomes inactive the same goes for ph then you have classification that is oxidoreductase transferase hydrolase lyase isomerase and lycase example for each one is very important one more thing we missed out here is types where the questions have been repeatedly coming that is simple enzymes conjugate enzymes now what are these conjugate enzymes also called as holo enzymes in conjugate enzymes there are two parts protein part and non-protein part your protein part is called as apo enzyme non-protein part is called as cofactor where we have something called as prosthetic group examples very important we have coenzyme exam example again very important we also have different metal ions there example very important example is zinc there there it is the entire biomolecules in the few minutes students let me know in the comment section whatever questions i asked and for more such amazing videos like the video share the video and do not forget to subscribe to our channel